Many people are familiar with damage done to tree bark by grey squirrels. It often looks as if somebody has taken a penknife and stripped it off vertically. This results in the timber below dying, which then rots. In high winds, these trees tend to lose their branches. Often it's sycamore trees that are targeted by grey squirrels. In this case, it's a horse chestnut. This woodland, Lanshaw Woods, is beside the River Annick in East Ayrshire. And the squirrels have targeted the ends of the tree's shoots. This form of damage is uniquely caused by grey squirrels. This unusual form of damage normally happens between May and July, when the tree is in full leaf, actively photosynthesizing and creating lots of sugars. Also, the timber hasn't fully matured yet, so it's still quite soft. The appearance on this tree is a large number of dead leaves hanging down, dark brown in colour. The branches are strong enough for the squirrels to climb to almost the very end of the shoot tips. Here they have stripped off the immature bark that's still quite soft, and inside there's a soft wood material called pith, which is rich in sugars, and they've stripped this out. As a result, the branch tip tends to drop, but not necessarily fall off, and it dies because it's no longer getting its supply of sugar and water. Exposed damaged shoots still contain a fair amount of sugar, and this attracts moles, fungal growths. These are often black in colour, so you get a blackening of the timber. It doesn't tend to cause lasting damage to the tree, because at this time of year you get what's called lammas growth. Strictly speaking, that's August the 1st, but it means the harvest season. And what the tree does is it produces more leaves uh, later on in the season like this. So this replaces anything that's been lost.